Here we see the focus sail station complete, but it is a, a test panel and also was used to education for the uh, crew. And was this, what was the special news from this? Okay, first I told you the tubes, the wheels become very, very small. And so the, the radius become also a small dimensions. We remember before this was very big. This is one radio in the same dimensions like before. Yeah, very, very small and uh, are not so heavy. And uh, this, the speciality was you can take this, put this here in the, in the frame, ready. Let's just pause Dieter's presentation for a moment, as this deep modular design philosophy is worth exploring in a bit more detail to make sure we understand the very real benefits of a technique that I think the casual modern viewer can all too easily mistake for the mere luxury of over-engineering. The Fuga 10 series used the very latest technology in the form of the new tough and reliable P2000 pentode tubes in all stages in the receiver. The patented Lorentz quick release system ensured that the Fugu 10 system's components could be replaced in the airframe in seconds. But the individual components themselves were also modular in design. The audio amplifier here, held in place by a couple of screws and alignment pins, just plugs in and in case of failure, can be swapped out in the airfield workshop with the minimum ground crew expertise. Although this made the system more complex to manufacture initially, it delivered many benefits down the line. The integrated design doesn't only exploit the latest in miniaturized tube technology. The design philosophy uses precise, high-pressure aluminium casting technology to produce this all-enclosing chassis. Each component subgroup is housed in a perfect little metal box with built-in wiring supports and cableways. The compartments are perfectly structured to make the system rugged while maximizing signal and minimizing invasive and cross-circuit noise. Here's the underside of the RF section with the audio amplifier removed. Just look at the excellent and rugged engineering of the tuning capacitor. And the company Lorenz uh, came with this system and Telefunken had the old system with cables and they say by the, um, by the government, oh, this is the best, this we take. And any, any other uh, systems comes new has to have this system. Yeah? So, so what we have here? We have here SL, a transmitter, long wave, receiver, long wave. Uh, transmitter short wave, receiver short wave. The long wave was Flugsicherung, we say in German, to talk with the tower and so on, yeah, or in long wave. Maybe also sometimes when you have a relative great distance. And this was, we say, for the tactic uh, correspondence, so talk from, from plane to plane, also talk from, uh, from plane to the ground. So this was in short wave. And also, very, very new was, on the old system, you, when you will uh, uh, um, uh, switch a, a, a frequency, yeah, you have to look on the table, look on the table, and then look here, look here, here. No, here you have the direct, the exact frequency. Yeah? This is what, and this was a big problem because this was not digital, like today, this was analog. And uh, analog uh, systems are going with the temperature strong, up and down, goes with the altitude, up and down. And this was a great um, development from Lorentz over a, a great range of temperature. This, the frequency was the same like the uh, crystal uh, um, the transmitter. The English only had a crystal transmitter. A crystal makes only one frequency, yeah, and it's very stable. 
But here you can change the frequency. Yeah, but also with the same stable. And the, the English and the American has to change the crystals. Yeah? This was a great uh, use from, from this system. Yeah. Okay, for the long wave, also we have the antenna going 70 meters outside, but with a coil. Yeah? But also there was a second antenna on the roof of the aircraft. And this was also important. Um, you can use for long and for short wave this antenna or this antenna. Maybe this antenna was broken by shot or so. Then you can take this antenna or the other way. Yeah? And for this, 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 uh, this switch, you can change the antennas and so on. Um, and you, you can tune the maximum and so weiter. This is not, no, not normally in the aircraft. This is a, um, a dummy load. You can see how much power has this. Yeah? Now we can switch on the radio, but today is uh, it's not good because in this, in, this fre in this frequency range, we listen today nothing more. Yeah? This is only in the, in, the, in the evening or in the holiday, we can hear radio amateurs. But she has also now to work, the radio amateurs, yeah? So, okay, maybe I, I can listen noises. Yeah. The headphone, yeah? Maybe you listen to noises. But we cannot listen to any station because all the stations are in, in the other frequency, yeah? Okay, but we, I can show you transmitter. Yeah. <coughs> the transmitter gets special power for the, uh, for the remote control to adjust the matching to the antenna. We can later look for this. The radio operator has to look on this instrument. You can see this, yeah? yeah. So, he, he press here, so, and has to, to just, the just, see, of maximum, yeah? So, but this was with, with dropped power, that the enemy not listen. Oh, yeah, now they start, yeah? But the, when he was in the air, and made a, a communication with the, maybe with the key, yeah? Then they correct this on the mark, here on the maximum. So, yeah? So, and, and this is the, the, the test, uh, only for testing. And you can make here with telegraphy, yeah? We say to E1 is telegraphy, or you can also talk with the uh, throws microphone with a tree, yeah? But not so far, not so great distance. Here are plenty uh, uh, möglichkeiten, uh, opportunities, correct, möglichkeiten. When, uh, for example, when you uh, uh, when you fly in the long distance, uh, all the crew can get maybe radio, yeah, here, uh, <coughs> or the the uh, the um, the funker, the, the radio operator was a ra ra special radio operator here, can can give the pilot for um, for uh, the landing uh, signals, or can give him uh, um, intercom, talk together and so weiter, yeah. And, 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 and uh, a funny is this knob. This is normally, normally the, all the members in the, or the crew, all the crew talk together with the, with the intercom. We say IV intercom. So, but maybe uh, there, there is an enemy and, and the, the gunner brrr, shot, brrr, then, <laughs> Then the ears are broken. And for this special, 
the real opera make here. Switch off the microphone from him. <laughs> yeah. So so did it pass here. Here is the the, 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 the the box for the radio operator. Uh, here is the here is the box for the uh, for the pilot. Uh, here is the box for the uh, for the gunner. Yeah, this is the key. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and, and now I show you something where plenty of visitors are very surprised. I take this uh, lamp, and you see here, there's not, no connection. And that's just an ordinary fluorescent tube. It's a tube. Yeah. And the tube is filled with gas, and this gas gets you know, the electric wave and lights. Yeah. Yeah. In Berlin, under the, uh, uh, the radio station, under the antennas from the radio station, was a, a, a Dutch, Dutch, you know, a, a, a fine gardens, small gardens. And what they have done, they have this lamp powered by the radio antenna from the, yeah. <laughs> We have seen by the, by the radio stations before, Always they have a long antenna, 70 meters out. Yeah, with this uh, weight, the the, um, the wire was uh, pulled out by uh, normally normally power. Yeah. So, but to take out the antenna, uh, to take off the antenna, you have this uh, coil, and the pull out, a uh, pull off. But problem was. When, the, when here was uh, um, ice, ice on this, or uh, was uh, verheddert, we speak in German, then you can take here open, pull this, and the antenna was cut. Yeah? So that's a uh, no problem by landing that uh, the, the aircraft was blocked. Here you can see how the, the coil is working. Yeah, stop now. But I have stopped this inside. Then the stop become come when this uh, weight touch here. Yeah. An another very important news where the uh, matching to the to the correct weight to the antenna to correct correct electric ways to the antenna was in the radius before inside in the transmitter. And then from the transmitter a ca was a, a cable, a wire to the antenna. But this wire gives also plenty uh, signals out, uh, outside, inside in the, in, the, in the aircraft and it makes problems and lose power. And what uh, has uh, Lawrence done? They have a remote controlled matching in the uh, aircraft under the roof. And this is here inside. And here you see the relay receive transmit. And here you see the variometer is the name. This you can uh, change the inductance with this for the short wave and for the long wave. And to have the optimal, optimal uh, the connection to the antenna, then you can remove, move this coil. Please, Sabine, move this. You see? Yeah? And this is remote controlled, yeah? Here for short wave and here for the long wave. Yeah? Thank you, Sabine. This system was uh, used by main power, but I can also put on this system uh, the, the motor generators, motor dynamos, and can work with 24 volts. Yeah? For example, in a car or outside, 
uh, as a ground station and so on. Ja. This was Vogel 10. <laughs>